why another database, right? I think what I joined the question was stop the insanity, right? Like how many databases are there out there? There's a lot, there's a whole bunch. Um, why do you need another database? So here's, here's our argument, why do you need another database? Is to just look at the history of the evolution of databases. So uh, the patterns of a data warehouse, very well respected. There's data warehouse practice in you know, every large organization. No question there, star schemas, the whole deal. Um, these systems have sort of hit the wall and this is where Hadoop came and, and said, hey, here's a really cost efficient way to scale out storage. Do batch processing at scale and commodity hardware. Hadoop continues to be a beautiful price performance leader, the great target for archival storage, right? Batch processing, maybe real time, not so much. So to try to get to real time, and at this point now, memory's getting cheaper, all right? So we did a lot of implementations where um, people buy 300 boxes with 64 gigs of RAM. They used to sound like a lot, right? And then they come by and they upgrade them to 256 gigs of RAM. RAM is cheaper, right? Uh, nowadays, 512 or one terabyte, right? RAM is cheaper. So memory-based databases come up. SAP HANA, big deal. Um, MemSQL, there's others, right? So essentially at this point, you have fast disks, fast networks, fast I.O., uh, lots of memory. These systems reveal themselves to be compute bound, right? It's the fourth wall, right? You know, uh, that's it. A 300 node Spark cluster is not unusual, right? How, if, you wanna, if you have large data sets and you wanna bring a lot of compute to be able to keep up with that analytics, another 100 nodes, right? This is a way to address you get very wide horizontal sprawl, and hardware vendors love it, right? I mean, this, uh, Hadoop was a wonderful thing for you know, the big hardware vendors because a thousand node cluster is not that unusual. Okay, the operational cost of that's ridiculous, right? Um, <clears throat> okay, so the problem being that uh, these systems are compute bound, enter the GPU. Kinetica was built from the ground up to exploit GPUs to be an analytic database. It was not a bolt-on, and we can t there's, there's, there's a lot of companies who are attempting to bolt on GPUs now, okay? Which means they have to pay the price of pulling data out of whatever format they have it in already to maybe flatten it, parallelize it, to push it to the GPU and then get the results. So that's different than our system was designed from the ground up, purpose-built for the GPU, so we have simple flat data structures and uh, we've spent a lot of time optimizing how you pull data out of memory and feed it to the GPU. 